What's up, guys? Welcome back. I hope you could remember this uh, series of movies, Legend of the Seeker. That is a picture of the Seeker and the Mother Confessor. For those that have watched the movie, please drop a comment at the comment section below. What do you really think about the movie? Did you enjoy the storyline? Please make sure you drop a comment at the comment section below. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are listening to John Kelly's entertainment from. In this channel, we'll give you hodges of all the trends and all the happenings in Nigeria, Africa, and globally. Please, for those that are new here, do well to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so as to stay updated. Well, let us move on to music. Music is what I've been giving out vibe, not just in Nigeria, but globally. Music knows no boundary. Yeah, it's like fun without borders. 10 most streamed songs on audio max by um for june 2022 now we have number one overloading overdose mavens crayon and ayasta then at number two we have loving you zinuleski and number three we have palazzo by spino and asake number four we have boga lololo by kills daniel and techno that song has been making waves and number five, we have Last Last by African Giant himself, Bonaboy. And number six, we have Peace Be Unto You by Asake. Number seven, we have Sugar Cane Remix. And at number eight, we have Kwaku, the Traveler, Black Sheriff. And number nine, we have Rice by T Dollar. And number 10, we have Playboy by Fireboy DML. From these 10 songs or tracks I just mentioned, which is your best, please? Make sure you drop a comment on the comment section below. Now, still in the music or entertainment industry, let us talk about this. Someone dropped this question. It's a question. Let me ask you the question too. Let's settle this once and for all. Who is the best Nigerian live performer? Bonaboy or P-Square? We know Bonaboy. He has this hot vibe on stage. And P-Square too, they'll be doing very well. They have sweet vibe on stage. Please make sure you drop a comment. So on talking about this square, we have this news that Nigerian singer Paul Okoye is now being sued by his estranged wife Anita. You know the, I mean, lots of drama have been going between Paul and Anita. Well, we have this news that it was claimed that the singer slept with their maid and sent his wife out of the house after he was caught to clip her wings. Wow. Phone charts have leaked online showing Paul's alleged conversation with ladies. Someone reacted. All these messages from a man that has a wife. Okay. <laughs> well, are they? You know, they'll be having issues. You know, there was a time Anita left Nigeria for the United States with the kids. Paul went there, he spoke with her, and they came back. It's like, well, things have gone the wrong way right now. Well, Talking about uh, celebrities or the drama that has been going around celebrities in Nigeria, we have this news from Jis Lover. You know, Jis, Jis Lover have been trending from the desk of Jis Lover. But there's one thing about Jis Lover. I don't know where they get their Jis from. They get their Jis from source. Most times they'll just bring up something as if it's rumor. But after some time, you discover that that thing will be real. Yeah. Well, let me read out this message from you from the desk of Jis Lovers. They say, Dear Toin, information reaching violence headquarters, that is just lovers headquarters. They say your marriage has been shaking all along. No be today the info they come. Guess your husband got tired and confide in a friend. No push him out. He said, and I quote, I have been managing in the marriage. Well, from what just lovers said and from what uh, Toin uh, Abraham's husband alleged, allegedly said that uh, the, the, Toyin doesn't really spend time with him because we know Toyin is an actress, she's a producer. she be doing very well in the entertainment industry, especially movie. That she doesn't spend time with him. He's always she's always traveling, and it, it, it's not really rosy for him. But where from the desk of Toyin Abraham, the Nollywood actress, he said she has broken the uh, her silence because she's been silent. She has broken her silence and reacted to rumors that her marriage to actor. Ajayemi is on the verge of collapse. According to her, she said, I don't have issues in my marriage. Well, we know Jis Lover. There was a time they came up with this news that there was something going on 
between Funke Akindele and her husband JJC. But they, they, they came up online and said no, that they are doing well, nothing is happening. Few months later, JJC drops a message that they have separated. Well, we hope the same thing will not happen for Toyin uh, Abraham and her husband. What do you have to say regarding that? Don't forget to drop a comment. Talking about the love drama or yeah, the, the drama regarding love that is happening in our country. Let us talk about one of the hottest musicians, Whiskey. According to Whiskey's uh, ex, Tanya Omotayo, she said, why I broke up with Whiskey. She gave us reasons why she broke up with Whiskey. The fashion designer has addressed her 2016 split from Whiskey, who is a singer. Uh, Tanya and Whiskey parted with in 2016 and Miss reports that he was expecting his second child with Binta Diallo. Replying to a question on whether she was happy in the relationship dating back six years ago, Omotayo affirmed, I consider myself to live in my own world. I live in a bubble. I don't like doing things on the outside, she said. So imagine being 21 and being thrown into the media at a time when it wasn't normal for young people to be in a relationship and be so public. I knew that at that time we were the only ones. That was before Ice Prince came out with his girlfriend years later. So it was new at the time. It was so bad that they insulted my destiny. At some point, they started insulting my legs, saying I had really skinny chicken legs. Hmm, voila. We were young and he was becoming a global superstar. There's no way we, we would not have had issues. Is it possible it comes with that celebrity life? At some point, we decided that we had different things that we wanted to do. Well, we fed it from the desk of Tanya or Mortayo. What do you have to say regarding that? Please make sure you drop your comments on the comments. I saw this quite fascinating. Let me share with you, with you guys that a verified Nigerian TikTok influencer with 1.3 million followers. 1.3 million followers. I remember we have like 200 million plus citizens in Nigeria. 1.3 million followers on TikTok. Hmm. Grace Africa had a humbling moment she shared online. Grace organized a meet and greet event with her followers, but no one came and she shared a video of the humiliating moment. Reacting, someone wrote, I feel this would happen to me as well. This makes me sad. Please tell me people came. She organized an event and she has 1.3 followers on TikTok and nobody, nobody came for the event. That is one thing we should, there's one thing we should learn in life that no matter the number of followers you have on, on, on uh, social media, my brother, you are on your own. That is why most times we see celebrities like musicians telling us they are lonely. Most times people like, how can you tell us you are lonely when you have so much followers or, or fan? I mean, your fan base is so large. Yeah. You can imagine this lady with 1.3 million followers on TikTok and she organized an event as in meet and greet. She did ask people for money. I mean, she must have organized everything, food, drinks for her fans to uh, to cash fund with her. But at the end of the day, nobody, nobody came. Let us talk about our beloved country, Nigeria. You know, politics is on the way. 2023, just by the corner and we'll be voting our next president. Not just next president, next leaders, governors, senators, chairmen. Counselors. Someone dropped this message and I found it interesting. Let me share it with you guys that can you sleep for 24 hours in a mortuary without light for $100 million? 24 hours in a mortuary without light for $100 million. Let me read some answers or some comments for you before you drop yours on the comment section. Someone said, No try them at all. People go even turn out to permanent residence. This country red. Other one says, yes, drop location. I'm not the one that killed the person. <laughs> Other person said, people are desperate for money. Even me, I go sleep there. Someone even said, give me 100000 for one week. Life had a back. Another person said, I will live there. So we know where the country is right now, economically. People have been complaining that Nigeria is not what it used to be. You can't compare Nigeria 10 years ago to what it is right now. But our leaders keep telling us that they have done better for the country. They have done their best, that the country is better than what it is. What do you have to say regarding that? Well, regarding the educational sector in the country, someone dropped this that ASU is on strike for over four months, over four months. 
and APC is campaigning for re-election. Honestly, Nigeria is a strange country. Nigeria is a really strange country indeed. And this is like another angle entirely to what people have been saying because some people are saying that uh, some people are solidly in support with APC that APC has done better than uh, PDP. But as well as been on strike for four years. And funny enough, you discover that some persons that are supporting the government are in school or they, they've sent their kids to school because they don't have the resources to send their kids overseas. And their children are still at home for four months and they, they are still pushing to support the, uh, the government. Well, politics, everybody has something to say. And we should remember that most of these uh, politicians, they don't allow their children school in the country. They don't even receive medical treatment in the country. They travel out of the country for medical treatment. And they send their kids overseas to school because they know education is better there than it is okay, right there, and they are our leaders. The health sector in the country, we have this news that does spend, that doctors rather suspend surgery procedures as 14 babies die at UPTH incubator due to power outages. University of Portacourt Teaching Hospital. 14 babies died at the incubator. You can imagine. 14 babies just died and uh, i don't even know what else to say well i don't think we should we should vote wisely because of power outage we keep having power issues in the country they'll tell us the dam is dry there's no water what else what have we not heard in the country what about as we strike and people keep stealing money 80 billion 100 billion nothing has been done to, to such ones and ASU is still on strike. How much is ASU as asking for? About $40 million. And the, the government, $40 billion, rather than the government, is saying they don't have the money to pay. But people are stealing $80 billion, twice the amount. What is really happening in Nigeria? What is the way forward? Regarding the drama that is happening in politics, we have this news that, um, that the governor of River State, yeah, dropped a cryptic message after reportedly meeting APC candidate Tinibu in France. He has traveled to France to meet Tinibu. Why is it that they don't have meetings in Nigeria? They keep traveling out of the country where there's light. <laughs> well, according to uh, the governor of River State, Wiki, he said, thankful for fine evening. Governor Wiki drops cryptic message after reportedly meeting APC candidate Tinibu in France. We know people have been saying that uh, article didn't make the right choice by not giving Tinibu the position, or by not giving Wiki rather the position to become his vice president, he rather choose uh, Okowa. I dropped that on my last video anywhere. Please don't forget to watch my last video and drop your comments on what you think on the comment section below. Well, finally, let me give you this news live updates on the war in Ukraine. That war has been trending. You know, we were scared, we thought it would be a third world war, but well. We have this news that Russian forces withdraw from Ukraine's Snake Island in the Black Sea. A region is exerted a region it exerted control over in the early days of the war. On Thursday, according to officials from both countries, why Russia's retreat from the island has come to epitomize the Ukrainian resistance to the Russian invasion. Its military is concurrently pushing to take control of the entire Donbass region, the Associated Press reports. Well, we just hope this war will end. Let it end peacefully. We really want to be, to live in peace. Though we are having financial issues, but I mean, peace is very necessary. Thank you guys for watching John Gilles Entertainment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so as to stay updated whenever we upload fresh content. Have a lovely day.